What's up, Gum Crumbs? We're back with season two. We're talking Juneteenth, Jubilee, Houston's finest black chefs, and an array of tasty affair today on The Yum. Thank you for letting me be in your kitchen today. Uh, actually, it's not your kitchen. It's We're at the even. Hotel King there. Oh, hey, baby. Oh, hey. Hey. How y'all doing? <laughs> y'all need some wine? Yes, uh, yes Of course. Yes. Thank you. Of course. A, sh a chef that comes and tops you off is always good in my book. Thank you, you know. chef. Uh, where I'm from, they call it a good host. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's the Lord's work. Yeah. Thank it's you. I mean, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. You need to be in here pouring the wine. Correct. Yeah. You're also going to be a part of the Juneteenth Jubilee Cookout, yeah. which we're excited for so how is this matchup how did it come to be tell us what we got coming up and the people can look forward to well you know chef Don and I have been very good friends and collaborated for a very long time in many different things and many different formats whether it's my venue her venue we've got to come together and show everyone that we can work together as a people to perpetuate what it is that we believe Correct. You know. We embody community and, and we have been authentically there for each other and we're just kind of branching out and letting people yeah. know that this is we've been all this time. Paying yeah. it forward yeah. and the people love it. Yeah. I know I love a collaboration plate from you all. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we're looking forward to it. So are you going to give us a little spoiler? We got to come to the dinner to know what's on the menu. Well, yeah, you're going to have to come. But just know that it's going to be fire. So um, what we got cooking? So today I'm going to make things that are near and dear to the to, to the African American community here in the South, right? Sure. We love pork belly. And so I have a smoked pork belly that has also been cured for a few days, uh, a summer black eyed peas salad. My take would be like the dressing that's going to have a little bit of miso in it because, you know, I can't. For sure. I cannot ignore the base of what it is that I learned, which is Asian cuisine. Some great stuff on our plates, but we have to know what Juneteenth means to you as chefs because you feed the people. What Juneteenth means is um, it's always been focused and centered on community. Correct. And I think that it's a time, it's not necessarily a celebratory uh, event, but it is acknowledgement of the fact that we need to work on, on, on our equity here in, in society. Correct. Like, you know, and so wh what better way to do that is to come together as a community. When I think about Juneteenth, like one of the things that comes to mind, I don't ever consider it a celebration, but mm -hmm. more of a recognition mm -hmm, yes. of what it is that's happened. Mm -hmm. yes. And like, you know, as a reminder, of like where we came from and where we need to go. Exactly. When it comes to the black community, I hear a lot of talk about how we don't come together sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to say in Houston, I've seen more collectivism through the black chef culinary scene that I've seen anywhere else. And so how do you work together as two black chefs, especially in a high, uh, fine dining space? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's just about like respecting what, what each other has to offer and leaning on each other um, mm -hmm. completely and being transparent in the process. Yeah. Here's to the yum. Cheers, Cheers to, to the, the crumb. crumb.